Hi there, my name's Obi. Welcome to the Path of Ascension YouTube channel. This is where we discuss everything spiritual, helping people navigate their spirituality, helping them expand their consciousness, and ultimately guiding them to the right path to ascension. In this video today, we are going to be talking about the spiritual awakening. What is the spiritual awakening? The spiritual awakening is when you no longer live in your dream world, where you filter everything through your ego. Instead, you have this almost simultaneous awareness of your individual self and the connection between that and everything else. Let's take, for example, the metaphor of the wave in the ocean. You are the wave and you are the ocean. The ability to maintain both the separation and the connection seem to indicate another level of spiritual evolution. So when you look across common faith traditions, there is a common thread that describes this state as nirvana, enlightenment, or awakening. So this consciousness happens when you stop being the observer, and then you ask yourself, who is observing? Hmm. So now, let's talk about 10 signs of a spiritual awakening. One, observing your patterns. One of the first signs of awakening is noticing. You see, you might be going through life without giving much thought to who you are, what you want, and why you are here. So having these questions pop up is like turning on a light in a previously dark room. If you are aware that you are witnessing how you do life, you may be asking yourself, do I need to drink so much? Why do I get so angry so often? Why am I always comparing myself to others? Why can't I get out of bed when the alarm goes off? Do I really need this much red meat in my diet? Why do I attract so much drama in my life? The first step in growth is always an awareness in the present moment, followed by an impulse to want to change something. Two, feeling a sense of connection. Connection comes from shared humanity. This can occur when you find yourself taking interest in your community. This can include volunteering at an old people's home or at an orphanage, or even at a, at a homeless shelter. You try the perspective of someone who you had seen different. You ask the question, why do they wear burqa or why do they have tattoos, rather than judging them. So you have a heightened awareness of the creatures you share the planet with. So you might find yourself trapping flies or spiders instead of killing them. You have a connection to the planet and this might come as a realization that littering, using plastics, wasting food is no longer an acceptable personal practice. Three, letting go of attachments. Whether you are aware of it or not, you have attachments. Attachments are how you define yourself. You may define yourself by what car you drive, what shoes you wear, what you eat, who you spend time with, what you read, or what you spend your money on. But think about your true self as your pulse. Over the years, you take on beliefs and descriptions about yourself based on what your parents, friends, media, even science tells you. Look at each of these beliefs as a veil. I'm smart. I'm popular. I'm a cat lover. I'm a dog lover. I'm a vegan. I'm a yogi. I'm always late. I can't eat gluten. Every layer is another bit of fabric. So once you are aware of this, this veil, it becomes transparent. It's still there, but you can see right through it. Four, finding inner peace. Think of inner peace as being unflappable. It doesn't mean that things don't go wrong in your life. It just means that when things do go bad, you are not on an emotional roller coaster of anger, frustration, and despair. Five, increasing your intuition. Have you ever thought of an old friend from high school and then run into them the next day at the airport? Have you ever had your phone ring and know it was your mother before even looking? Have you ever experienced an immediate irrational dislike for someone? Or experienced 
a feeling when meeting someone for the first time that you already know them. These are all signs of intuition. If objects, thoughts, human beings all have energy, spiritually awoken beings have the ability to connect to that energy on a regular basis. Six, having synchronicity. Along the same lines as intuition, there is that feeling that the universe is conspiring to make things happen. So your new neighbor is from Cape Town. And then at the barber shop, talking to your barber, he then says to you, oh, I just came back from a family holiday in Cape Town. You get home and you switch on the TV and there's Cape Town tourism playing an advert. So some might call this coincidence, but others believe that these subtle signs are guiding you. Number seven, increasing your compassion. Empathy is the ability to feel what others are feeling to try on a new perspective. Compassion is an action that is inspired by empathy. It literally means to suffer with. One area of compassion that is often forgotten is self-compassion. Self-compassion is composed of three main components. Self-kindness, a sense of humanity, and mindfulness. If you are experiencing any of these components, then you are on a path to spiritual awakening. Eight, removing fear of death. A wise man once said that all fear is really a fear of death. All fear decreases generally when an individual becomes more awakened. This might be due to the lack of attachments or your demise seems less tragic when you're focused on living in the present rather than worrying about the future or regretting the past. When consciousness is seen as transcending this physical body, the loss of this physical body seems less tragic. Seeing death as an inevitable and as part of your process allows for peace and removes fear. Nine, increasing authenticity. With an awakening comes confidence and a deep sense of self-worth. Gone is the need to conform to cultural norms or to remain politically correct. Instead, a complete sense of satisfaction with who you are and the choices you make. 10, flourishing. Awakened people have a level of well-being that seems to be more consistent. You know there is a mind-body connection that translates to people who are happier and healthier. Practices to assist your spiritual awakening. Meditate, spend time outdoors, laugh, dance, connect with your community, volunteer, practice gratitude, and slow down. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it added some kind of value to you. If you did find it helpful, please hit the like button, comment below, let us know how you feel. If there's anything you'd like to talk about, if you'd like me to advise on anything, drop, drop a comment below. I'll jump on it and, and sort of we can interact in the comments. Please don't forget to slap the subscribe button at the bottom. Hit the bell icon as well so you're notified whenever we upload new content. So on that note, love and life, beautiful soul.